We present an algorithm that generates a realistic environment interaction of a user from sparse sensors. Given an environment geometry, a window of headset and controller pose, we simulate a character and learn a control policy to drive the character to track the sparse sensor in a natural looking motion. Physics simulation automatically enforces various constraints necessary for realistic poses and achieves high quality interaction motions without artifacts such as penetration or contact sliding. Green spheres in the video indicate height map center around the simulated character to observe its surroundings. On the top right is the reference video took to visualize the user motion for comparison purpose and it is not a part of the system input. Our system only takes headset and controller poses and environment geometry as input. We train a separate policy for each examples demonstrated in the video. Here we show an example of a user stepping on or going over the boxes. Even without any information regarding the lower body, the policy learns to generate plausible leg motions exploiting the environment observation. Taking the advantage of physics simulation, without any post-processing steps, our method can generate realistic interaction where a user manipulates an object. The character learns to push the ground with feet and lean back to exert a force on the backrest to wobble the chair and maintain stable balance over the continuous interaction. Similarly, we demonstrate an example where a user sits on an office chair and rotates around using its feet. The character learns that using feet to generate a frictional contact force with the ground creates torque on the root. This contact can be used to rotate the chair to better follow the user's headset and controller positions given the environment. Our policy can also track sitting down and getting up from the floor. While sitting down, our simulated character crosses or stretches the leg differently with the user's motion. The motion is natural looking and faithfully tracking the hand money display in controller pose despite the difference. We test our system with sensor input of a user walking in a flat ground combined with virtual boxes in the simulated environment. With a larger and higher resolution height map, the character can observe more detailed environment and make stable steps. The simulated character observes the virtual boxes and adjusts his legs to go through the obstacles. We train a policy using only head-mounted display input without the wrist controllers. Even with such limited input, the model robustly performs sitting on various objects as well as locomotion. In some situations, the model may utilize the arms in a different way than the user does due to the ambiguity of the sparse sensor input.
Our baseline policy uses a fixed window size of one second pass and future sensor information. Here we train a policy using only the past and current sensor input without any future look ahead. The policy is able to generate robust interaction, but due to the lack of future information, the policy tends to make more conservative motions like small stepping or fit stomping. As in other physics-based controllers, the simulated character in our system can also lose balance or completely fall over. Without any information about the user's lower body, the policy should figure out how to control its lag utilizing the scene observation. When the boxes are closely arranged to each other, the policy should plan more accurate steps, lifting the lags beforehand. While the characters can recover its balance in minor tracking errors, it may completely stumble over in critical cases. Getting up from the floor is a challenging task requiring careful contact coordination. In this example, the policy failed to appropriately push the ground with both hands to get up. Also, there are many ways of sitting down matching the same sensor input. So the policy may generate a motion different with the user, and when the difference is too big, it may not recover from such a drift. Thank you.